because as a Philadelphia resident, it's really important to me that we stand in solidarity with PHA tenants that have been attacked by PHA. Even PHA, people that's not even in PHA have been attacked by PHA. So as a Philadelphia resident, it is my duty to stand with these people because displacement and disappearing blackness is a real thing here. And if, I, if, I'm, if I'm not here, I, I can't say who else would be. Um, and can you talk, talk a little bit more about the work that you've been doing um, with this project here? Yeah, so where did all... Wait, and tax amnesty and the tax abatement, all of that, if you can just tie it into that. So the tax abatement and tax am amnesty. So I've been working with West Philly Voting Block, um, Black and Brown Workers, um, Black and Brown Workers Cooperative, as well as Philly Road Justice. And we stand in solidarity with Black Homes and Community Preservation because we know that we're under attack. Now the tax amnesty and the tax abatement go hand in hand because it's giving rich people, people that already have an access of resources, it's giving them loopholes and ways to not pay money, not fit the bill, not pay their fair share in a city with increasing homelessness and a city that honestly has a surplus of money. So let me just give y'all a little background. We're standing in front of this $45 million PHA headquarters. In this building, they have a room that has been dedicated to Janie Blackwell. Janie Blackwell, as well as Daryl Clark, are in bed with each other and with developers. So Janie Blackwell tried to get tax exempt land after PHA has taken multiple land, lots, homes, and businesses. Right across the street, there's been a lot that's been taken away from a person. That's a lot being stolen away from Philadelphia natives. This is this, when we talk about injustice and we talk about the housing crisis here, why was PHA allowed to put a $45 million building here in the middle of a housing justice crisis. In the middle of a city that has an, an, a decrease in home ownership and an increase in cost burden rentals. So I've never been a PHA resident, but it's my business when my fellow residents are under attack. And now we're making a video and all of a sudden it's like sirens going by. This whole day we've been out here, we've been targeted, not even, even just things like that, but multiple municipal state, cars driving by, police enforcement driving by, as we stand here and, and, and protest at, at our freedom. So this tax, I'm gonna go back to this tax amnesty. Different businesses have been giving loopholes and these same businesses have taken land and property away from everyday citizens. The tax abatement. People here that have an excess of money, like UPenn, Drexel, they pay absolutely no property taxes. So when we talk about property taxes, where does that money go? It's supposed to go into the schools. But when you have these large companies not paying any taxes at all, and then you increase taxes on poor people, you have little bit funds, little bit of funds, a little bit of money, going to fund our public schools. These same children that sit in these, these, these mold, lead infested buildings for school, if they live in PHA housing, that means they're going back into, into lead, mold. They're going back into this environment. So if I'm a child and I live in PHA and I attend a public school, that means I have no way to rid myself of these lead, mold, Double whammy. Double whammy. So what, what are you telling the, the youth here? What are you telling the children? You're telling them they're not worth it. You're telling them that tech amnesty for builders and developers, that's who we care about. And what about Alan Dobb and um, this tax abatement law? Because we want to hold all, I, I want to put these um, elected officials out there. Like, I want to hold them all accountable. Like, these people are running for election. We need to know what's going on with these people. So, Alan Dom is a developer and he sits on city council. And I believe he's, um, I believe he's at, is he at large? Yes. City council member at large. So, he represents everybody. So, you don't even got to be like, are you in his district? He represents everybody here 
and to this day, he still is developing. He's still benefit. He's still collecting a salary that's pretty large, first of all, as a city council sitting person. And then on top of that, he's getting loopholes. And he's the one that honestly watered down the good cause bill. But Alan Dom is, is a developer that is also receiving tax abatement. And I'm pretty sure has shell companies and LLCs out here. But you can't even just look at the white, the white city council people. You also have to look at the black city council people that are not holding PHA accountable, that are still allowing for tax abatement to go on. So we got the police out here. Oof. My shirt is, Anita Simone is on my shirt, and it says when love is, when love is no longer being served, you got to get up from the table. Love is not being served in the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection. So we have to stand up, and we have to leave the table. We got to stop working with people that are not for us. And um, can you talk about the hearing that, that was held at city council where you spoke about um, with our seniors losing their homes and things of that nature? Because it's all affordable housing. Yes. All it is. All of this has to do with affordable housing. So I testified at city council on the wrongly um, prop on the um, wrongful property assessment by the OPA office, which had 11 out of 18 violations. And I testified that seniors, all, not just in South Philadelphia, but all across Philadelphia, they are experiencing increase in property taxes and wrongful assessment to their properties. And that is also causing displacement and contributing to the disappearing blackness in the city of Philadelphia. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to add? I just wanted to touch on those things because it's all tied into affordable. I, I would like to say that on our vulnerable communities. Exactly. Our vulnerable communities. I love that you said that because our communities are vulnerable. Why are they vulnerable? Because of the plight that these systems like PHA, PHA put onto our people in our communities. So the, the Fair Housing Act was passed in 1968 after the execution of Martin Luther King. And, and I believe there was some type of guilt that was felt. But housing is a human right. And PHA, the city of Philadelphia, the state representatives, the senators are going to have to be held accountable. And even if they don't stand in front of a judge, they will ultimately have to face a judge. Everyone's judge. And what are your demands? My demands is that, first of all, PHA is called out and PHA is, loses leadership. We need to turn over leadership of PHA. All right, Kevin Jeremiah no longer needs to be the CEO of PHA. And why do you feel that way? Because he has, done, has shown poor leadership over the past years since coming into his position and it's time to go. And I'm also demanding that city council the ones that do know what's going on hold PHA accountable and the ones that don't know what's going on find out what's going on in a city that you represent where you vow to serve the public as a public servant. And is there a way where the people can get involved? Like, can we demand like a people's commission to how to, to run this PHA? Like, what part is, what, 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 where do we do that? So if people want to get involved, you need to show up at, um, you know, you can show, reach out to West Philly Voting Block. You can also reach out and share your message with the Fair Housing, um, Fair Housing Rights Center. I used to volunteer there. All right, the CEO knows me very well, and Angela MacGyver is fighting for the, for, fighting for the cause. You can reach out to Black and Brown Workers Cooperative, who is hosting disappearing, black, disappearing Blackness workshops and focusing on displacement. Um, when do y'all hold those workshops? Uh, so I, I'm not exactly sure exactly when the workshops are held, but black and brown workers you can reach out to. All right, you can just get online when you find this video after it's posted. Send a message. You can get involved by telling your story or talking to other people in your neighborhood about not even just PHA, but the predatory lending and buying of properties. And also the fact that it costs, you got to make three times the rent in a city that has not increased minimum wage. You can start by speaking up and standing up for what is right. 
Um, and what about that bill when the seniors was down here and they was talking about this bill and um, David O. quit. Well, uh, remember I was there. Yes, there. yes. So that bill to extend loop, I believe, yeah. to people that may have been ex receiving the 10 year tax abatement. That bill alone, honestly, that bill should never have passed out of committee. OPA needs new leadership. And city council, everybody needs to be voted out. We need all new leadership. There's nobody in city council that is really standing up for the rights of the people. People do stuff in city council out of convenience for them. And that's the fact. Anything else? Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, different, different, different issues and concerns. Concern. I'm finding I'm so, so many, so many different, mentality, different mentality today. It seems hard. hard. It, seems it seems challenging. challenging. I don't say it's hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Is a challenge. challenge. Um, so, 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 I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. In life. And mine's going to take on a task that most that most uh, back away back from. Away that from. Impossible. That impossible. Some people say it's impossible. I see possibilities.